You know, I think popular entertainment is always a commentary of sorts. It's always a a commentary and a critique uh, and an expression uh, of the society, of how the society feels and what the what the what the culture is uh, experiencing to one extent or another. I mean, I think that all of those post-apocalyptic movies, you know, the zombie movies, the alien invasion movies, all of these things, you know, the Quiet Place movies, the End of Us, Leave the World Behind, all of those types of films. I think all of these movies arise from the collective cultural subconscious of America and reflects their realization uh, that, in fact, America is in post-apocalypse. America is a memory. It's nostalgia for a bygone period of history that almost no American living today ever actually experienced. You know, and this is the appeal of uh, uh, Make America Great Again. I mean, you can't fail to uh, detect the post-apocalyptic uh, sentiment or the post-apocalyptic realization uh, that's the subtext for that slogan, for that political uh, motto, for that chant. Because you know that everything that the United States conceived itself as the image that it curated and broadcast around the world, say in the 1950s and early 1960s, that world is gone. It exists only in the cultural memory, while the world that you're living in, that you're actually living in, is a hellish landscape of moral chaos, of violence, tyrannical surveillance, and authoritarian hubris. The uh, authoritarian hubris of the state that's arbitrarily uh, restricting your every move, your every word, your every thought, while you exist in financial instability and employment drudgery under crushing debt and taxes and bills with no purpose, no dignity, no meaning, no respect, and with only a few hours here and there uh, to sort of unplug yourself from reality and inject yourself with the anesthesia of entertainment day in, day out until you die. The bright, sunny world of uh, happy America it's just like a story being told by a survivor of Armageddon to his kids, you know, about when there used to be birds in the trees and there was running water and cookouts in the backyard and so on, while they, meanwhile, are just trudging through the rubble of a city demolished by a nuclear holocaust. That's why they have those movies, because they're realizing, even if unconsciously, that they're living in the aftermath. Americans today are living in the aftermath. And make America great again, that's magical thinking. It's the ultimate example of the denial phase of mourning and grief. You're pretending that you can raise the dead, 